The Stellar X2 microphone is designed by a company called Texon Audio. So they sent me one to do a review, asked me to give my opinion on what I think about this microphone. So done a bit of research on these microphones and they've said it's between a Neumann U67 and a U87. Now these two microphones are high end, expensive, I don't have these microphones to compare them to, but that's okay. If it sounds as good as they claim it to sound, then it's a win-win situation. What's going on? It's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're good. So the price range for this microphone is coming in around £200, which isn't in the lower end of the price range for a studio mic. But if the quality is as good as they say it is, then it might be worth spending that money on it and making that purchase. Comes in a nice white box. Inside the box, nice little flight case, which I think is really cool. It's nice, so especially when you're packing your mics where you might have a few mics in your studio, at least then you can put this one away in a nice carry case. Or if you're going to another studio, you can take the mic with you, knowing that it's gonna be safe and secure. Inside, you've got a quick start guide that tells you how to use the microphone, how to plug it in. It's a condenser mic, so you're gonna need phantom power to power the microphone. So you're gonna need an audio interface. I'm running it through an Apollo Twin. It's also got a a nice little card to show you that it's been tested which is cool like that an A4 bit of paper telling you all about this microphone the frequency response how to take care of it that type of stuff then you've got another little carry case inside that which is nice this is TZ audio on there product you've got a shock mount here 3 8 to 5 8 adapter inside there as well which is sweet I'm not 100% happy with how this works because it doesn't seem like it's going to open up it gives you much space to move so you can open that lever and get to fit the mic in but i'll try it in a minute see how that works nice big foam shield pop over the mic and then we have the mic carry case nice carry case there well made looks like they spent quite a bit on the budget for this carry case and um, like i said it's nice to have a carry case that you can just put the mic in Keep that safe if you're on the travels, if you're a traveling artist or engineer, you wanna take some mics with you to another studio. It's lovely. It looks like they spent, they spent a little bit of the budget on that. So let's hope they haven't compromised with the quality of the mic. First thing I noticed is there's no XLR cable. So just be aware that if you do purchase this, you're gonna to have to make sure that you have already got an XLR or if you haven't got one already, you're gonna to need to purchase one of those as well. So the build for this microphone, it does feel quite sturdy. You can see the capsule in there behind the mesh. TZ on there, branding. Quality of the microphone seems quite good. I like how it feels. It feels quite heavy as well. Similar in weight compared to the Aston Origin, which I will be testing that against to see what the quality is like because they're similar in price range. The build doesn't feel cheap for me. It feels good quality. I like the black finish, the matte finish on it. It looks quite sleek. Yeah, overall, I'm impressed by the build and the quality. So let's talk about the specs of this microphone. The polar pack for this microphone is cardioid, which means you're gonna get the focus of the sound from the front of the mic, and you will get a little bit of sound from the sides, a little bit from around the back of the microphone. One of the things that they mention is the noise floor of this microphone, which is supposed to be really good because of the capsules that they use is similar to the Neumann's. Whereas I've seen in some other tests that the, the Neumann's noise floor is really quiet compared to this one, but it's not a big issue with this microphone. So I wouldn't really put that down as a factor of whether or not you should try this mic or test this mic out or make the purchase. The frequency response of this microphone is from 20 hertz to 18,000 hertz. It means it has a little roll off at the top end. Some mixes that I've done, I've had to roll off a lot of top end because sometimes it gets a bit harsh and brittle. So if this mic is gonna eliminate that, then that might be a good thing. There's also a little bit of a dip in the five to 10K range. Might be good for some artists, might be good for your voice. I'm gonna test that out on my voice, see what that sounds like. So right now I'm using a Comica microphone plugged into my iPhone. I like to use that just to record my YouTube videos. So I mentioned earlier about how the shock mount, that like there isn't that much give to squeeze and make enough space for the mic to get in, but it actually fits in really smooth and easy. So that's cool. So I'm just gonna read this about the care. Dust and foam material can degrade the performance of a microphone over time, so always store the unit in its included flight case. For close-up vocals, use a pop filter or the included foam rinse screen to avoid getting moisture on the diaphragm. Dust and foreign material can degrade the performance of a microphone over time, so always store the unit in its included flight case. For close-up vocals, use a pop filter or the included foam windscreen to avoid getting moisture on the diaphragm. So the distance was roughly the same, six inches, where you would be when you're recording vocals. Now let's switch back to the Stella mic. I like how it sounds, it makes my voice sound rich. I feel like I'm a bit sibilant and it's picking that up quite a bit. It's nothing that you can't sort out in post-production. A little bit of ds in, bit of EQ. At the moment, I'm about six inches where you would be when you're recording vocals. Now I'm about a foot away, two feet away, and 
three feet away. Check the plosives. Where's the peppers Peter Piper picked? Pepper pickled. Try it with the windshield, see how that sounds. Where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? <laughs> Tongue twister. <laughs> uh, cool, I like it. So I'm gonna try that now, again, with the standard pop filter I would use for recording artists. I wouldn't put that big windshield on there. I don't really like the look of it and all that. So I think that's more of a, a podcast thing. Where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Where's the peck of pickled... Where's the peck of pickled... Where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? <sighs> that's hard. So the sound quality for this microphone, I feel, is definitely worth the price tag so you heard the sound quality of the microphone you let me know in the comments which one you preferred did you prefer the sound of the aston or the stella x2 now that i'm sober i take back what i said i'm sitting with this love hangover voice hurting my head it's the middle of october we just came to an end that there ain't no time left. Okay, okay, not bad, not bad at all. Better than I expected. Actually quite impressed by the quality of the sound. I can definitely see me using this in future sessions recording artists and it's nice just to have a choice of microphone to see which suits the artist best. But if you've got the budget for this microphone, I would say definitely get it. Especially if you're a new artist and you've got the budget to spare and you're looking for a good quality mic for your first time mic, then definitely get it. Product link is below, it's an affiliate link, it doesn't cost you any extra, just gives me a small commission which will go back into the business and you know it goes just keep keep growing the channel. If you like this video at all hit that like button, YouTube loves likes. The more likes the more views, the more my channel will grow, the more the community will grow, all that good stuff. See you in the next video.